and, and of course, you know, we're talking about the way the film looks from a lighting and a camera point of view. But I want to kind of wrap up our conversation in our last few minutes here talking about the production design, because so much is going into black and white beyond just the camera and the lighting and some of the filtration you talked about. But there must have been decisions in textures and clothing and the colors that are actually on set to give you the black and white um, kind of density that you're looking for. Can you talk to us about the way that you worked with your production designer uh, and how it differed in black and white than maybe traditionally in color? And this, sure. this came from a question just to kind of give credit. Aswin Lara on Instagram um, wanted to know what it's like to capture production design in black and white, you know, versus color. So I, I, I'd love to kind of round out our conversation here because I think it's a really important part of what makes all films work, but particularly this one. Um, it's just different. Black and white is just different. It requires yeah. a whole different set of materials. No, it certainly is. I mean, I look, I think cinematographers in almost every instance are over accredited for the way movies look. Mm. Uh, and, and production designers and costume designers, uh, deserve far more credit. They are, um, in, in many cases more responsible than we are. Um, you know, we probably have more to, more to do with the, with, you know, like I said earlier, you know, we have more in common with editors and they, they deserve more credit for the way the movie looks. But, um, but anyway, I, uh, you know, Don Burt is, um, is a, a virtuoso. I mean, he's incredible, and he's not 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 only in the fact that he has great ideas and and brilliant solutions, but he is also incredibly collaborative. And one, you know, one of the challenges we all knew, and Trish Somerville equally, she's a costume designer, and you know, she's equally collaborative and and uh, an incredibly talented person. And and uh, you know, one of the challenges the three of us discussed extensively in the beginning was well what are, what are these colors going to look like on the camera and as as they were making those decisions they were very concerned that that those decisions would perpetuate and, and the results would be what they expected so you know don and i spent i spent a lot of time in his office and we were looking at tiles and we were looking at paint colors and trish was sending me fabrics and materials and you know it's in some cases the extras and some of the crowd scenes are wearing ridiculous colors specifically because they would render certain values. Um, you know, and, and they were, so we did a lot of testing. We did wardrobe tests and, and makeup tests. And, uh, and, and, uh, we shot a lot of stuff with our iPhone or I shot stills and brought them into the camera and desaturated, looked at them and looked at them. And then we, you know, the, the colors we liked, we brought in front of the, 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 motion picture camera and we looked at them again and then we went to the grade and did some test grades and looked at those values. So yeah, it was when we got pretty fractal with this, you know, it was yeah. not like, a, it wasn't something we didn't wing it for sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's a good thing. There's no color version of the movie because, you know, it would look like, um, you know, it looked like a Baz Luhrmann film probably. <laughs> 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 it's just like color everywhere. 